Hey guys, uh, I just thought I'd show you a little quick video here. I started digging into the uh, 206 that I showed you with the 306 and uh, first thing I did was I uh, ran a stitch on this machine. I haven't done anything to this machine pretty much since I got it so um, I decided to run a stitch on the machine and uh, it was working pretty good. I got some stitching going on. I was testing the zigzag and boom my thread snapped and I was like okay that's weird and uh, so I was thinking you know there's got to be something going on and so I check in my tension and sure enough my tensioner was having an issue so just to let you guys know when I get started I do run some stitches when I get machines uh, I do a, a basic oiling throughout the uh, oil ports on the machine I'll go underneath and make sure that everything's got a little bit of lube there it's nothing's cleaned yet I'm just lubricating everything and and I'm gonna give it a test stitch and see if I have any major issues before I go into cleaning it because if I have to fix it, <clears throat> I might as well do it while I'm cleaning it, right? So, uh, so anyways, I uh, figured out that my thread's snapping, and lo and behold, I'm having an issue with my uh, upper thread tensioner. Now, what I'm going to talk to you about is some of the tools I use and some of the oil. So, I figured I'd show you this machine because I'm in partly through it, and, and I wanted you guys to see where I'm at. But anyways, uh, this is your regular sewing machine oil that I use here. This is from your big box store. Um... I call them mall wart, but you guys can call it whatever you want. But I just got that there. That's nothing special. It's just uh, some sewing machine oil. You can get it at your sewing machine shops. I'm pretty sure there's better brands than, than what I used here. Um, the reason why the label's not on it is because I'm not worried about them sponsorship or anything. It's just the oil uh, made the label come off. So don't, don't think that I'm trying to hide anything. Because honestly, I don't mind advertising this. This is from Castrol. This is uh, LubeCon. This is a penetrating lubricant that I use, and if you look at this, it's super, super uh, watery looking. It's it's gray. It looks like dirty water. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, this is a, a very awesome penetrant oil that I use. Uh, I will recommend this. You guys want to see that there? Um, I don't know where you guys can get that. Uh, a buddy of mine had given me this, and this is just liquid gold to me. This works great, and one of the things I like about it is it has this needle type um, oiler so and you don't need much I just go here and I put one drop here because I need to pull off this piece <clears throat> the problem with this tensioner is this piece gets locked into here which holds your spring well I'm able to look I pulled it out I should not be able to pull this out of this body of this piece here so it's it's stuck in there a little bit right now I've loosened off the grub screw in the back I've actually removed it all the way and I've just put some of this um, lubricant on here okay so I just wanted to let you guys know that's that's what I use on the machines mainly oil I use this for cleaning I use this for lubing all the parts um, I will take parts off and go into deep cleaning but that's a whole nother video uh, but that's the stuff I use I like to use stubby flat screwdrivers and uh, make sure they're good because there's just more control with a flat screwdriver. Uh, you get using a long one and you tend to jab something or slip and cause damage. I try to avoid using longer screwdrivers. Um, I have the little sewing machine screwdriver you can see here. This is just one I got with uh, one of the machines I got um, over, over the last couple of years. I have many of these little screwdrivers. Uh, but this is a key uh, tool here. And you see a lot of other guys uh, or and women <laughs> that work on machines use this tool. Um, this is a little ratcheting screwdriver head and it has both directions there and you can flip it back and forth. And uh, I recommend getting one of these. This one comes with a, uh, a bunch of bits. Um, and uh, of course there's some missing in here but those were allen keys that I used and didn't put back. I'm not worried about that. It's mainly my flat heads and stars. Uh, it has, this one has some specialty torques in it with the holes, but I mean you can get different types of kits But this is really good. You can get in there uh, Hold nice and firmly on a screw for example my grub screw on that was really stuck And this is why you see this out right now, and it's got a nice small head. They're very Clean cut and fit the screw heads perfectly and that's what you want to do You want to make sure that you take a head the head off of them off of your little bit here and put it into your the screw slot first and see how it fits and feel it and use the one that fits best because you don't want to be 
putting in one that's loose and causing damage to screws. I, I see so many damaged screws on machines. I could tell people have loosened them with a screwdriver like so. This is not power. This is not big enough to get the power to crack some of these screws that have been sitting 50 years and plus, okay? So keep that in mind. You might want a, a stubby like this. And, uh, you know, still you need to be careful with these too. This is why you see two different ones here. I have two. They're different thicknesses and uh, for different size screws. And, and this part is is different thickness than this part here okay the 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 thickness here not the width of the blade but the thickness that's that's key when you're undoing flathead screws you know it's funny that the guy who invented star screws and square screws phillips and roberts they were proud enough to put their name on the screw but whoever invented the flathead did not want their name on it because their grandchildren would still be paying for it how many knuckles have been sacrificed with flathead screws? <laughs> Regardless, that's my little rant. Uh, but anyways, guys, just wanted to show you the stuff I use and the tools that uh, I use, the lubricants I use, and how I go about getting started with a machine. So I'm digging into the head of this. I'm going to work on this tension, and uh, stay tuned for further video on this 206 from 1953. Thanks, guys. Stay safe and take care.